Hey folks, welcome to another video. Actually a shorter video. I decided to break up the videos a little bit more so that it's one thing, it's a bit easier for me to upload them and a little bit more in interesting for you guys to watch so it's not too long and I don't have to put all the games in th of one day and put them in one big mashup. But anyway, this video is, or are two videos from the Woods Ball Field. I figured I'd upload them because of just some of the strange happenings out there, some interesting things that usually don't happen out there in the field. This first game was a capture the flag game and we started on the high side. So I decided to go up to the left and peek out through this window to see the movement and of the opposite team. Um, I was able to see a few things and um, some of the guys from the opposite team were shooting at this bunker, uh, but not too much. And I wasn't really seeing too much action in the middle of the field. So whenever I could, I moved up to this part of the bunker and this is where I realized that the flag was right in front of me. Um, th don't be fooled by the video or the lack of action, but this was a pretty decent sized group. Uh, if I remember correctly, it was about um, uh, 12 versus 12 and I was a little bit surprised at the lack of shooting going on in the middle of the field where um, the tower was, was placed. Now I know many of you have had the same situation where you thought that it was all clear and proceeded to go to the next bunker or go somewhere else only to be surprised by uh, the opponent right there and, and basically easily shot you out. And I basically wanted to avoid that and as you can see I'm going looking left, looking right, looking up on top to see if I can see anybody or even have at least somebody fire at me so I know that they're there. Now just a few seconds ago I heard some shots hitting the door to the structure on my right and it was a string of shots but it stopped and I didn't know where it came from so I was pretty cautious in trying to find out where it was. So after backing up a little bit I decided to just go ahead and take a run and try and grab the towel. Hopefully it wouldn't get snagged on the pole. Um, I jumped to the next bunker. Surprisingly, surprisingly enough nobody even shot at me when I ran for the towel so I didn't know where they went I think they went all the way to the far end of the field where they could sneak up on the wood and fortunately for me I was able to snag it without any problems and save my paint most importantly now here is the second game uh, this time we are starting on the lower end of the field which I really dislike because you're basically at a disadvantage from the start so I decide to make a run for it and make it all the way to um, the right of the field and be able to cut off the opponents from advancing through the woods or the, the grassy uh, area right in front of me and be also and also be able to have a, a good um, angle on the people that decided to shoot from the town. So after checking things out, uh, not too much action in front of me. So I wait for any movement and I see movement. I see a mask and I take a couple of shots at it. Fortunately, I missed. I say fortunately because it was actually a ref. Um, I shot at it because I saw a mask. I didn't see the, the towel or the, the ref uniform. Um, so I wanted to get a jump on them. Again, fortunately, um, I missed. And mainly, I don't want to be that guy that uh, shoots a ref or makes the ref's day any harder or more difficult. And like the previous game, uh, not too much action from where I am. So I decide to be quiet and stay where I am and just take a few shots at some of the masks that I see pointing out of the windows or out of the doorways. Um, and basically just keep where I am. And as I'm behind this bunker, I start hearing shots from my right um, on the other side of those bushes. And they're actually shooting at my teammates behind me. So I wanted Someone to let to them know right. that there was somebody on the other team on that side and to watch out for fire from that side. And while I was there, I tried to get whoever that was. Um, they were hidden really well. I couldn't see any movement or any masks. So uh, the best I could do was fire at where I think the shots were coming from. I see the, um, the boundary marker to my right. And I don't really go much to this side, so I wasn't sure where it cut. And I just wanted to double check with the ref um, if that guy who was shooting at us was still within 
the field. Yo, ref, is that guy out of bounds? Actually, ref, outside. that guy over there is out of bounds. So I just wanted to make sure that he was still um, legal and was able, still able to play. But as I find out later, that the, the battery actually extends much farther than I had thought, and you know that I had to watch out just in case he decided to move up and catch me on my on my right side. So as you can see, not much action going on right now. So I decide to move up, but before I do, I learned my lesson to reload <coughs> just in case I do get into a, um, a firefight with somebody. And after doing that, I decide to give that side a try, this little path, um, because I haven't even heard that guy shooting anymore. I don't know if he moved um, to another part of the field or just gave up or was managed to be shot by my teammate or by me. Um, as I go and take this path, I see some of the guys he um, heading over to the, the dead dead zone. And that guy right there, uh, pretty cool guy, never met before, but he's pretty chill. And these guys actually give me a heads up that this side of the, the field was pretty clear. Um, not that I didn't trust him, I just wanted to make sure that uh, he wasn't messing with me and just leaving myself out in the open. Um, so I try to sneak around to where, basically somewhat to the side where they started from. Um, so I don't really see much movement. So I think I'm a little bit safe on the right side by where they started. And I'm just basically trying to see if I can catch anybody or any movement in within that fort. Um, so I try to sneak around. I see somebody through the window. And that lets me know there might be a few others in there in the fort. Now here is another surrender situation. I see two. Surrender, surrender. I yell surrender. And I see one guy raise his surrender, gun. Surrender, surrender. Which basically frees me up to shoot them. Unfortunately for the other guy who didn't Sorry. even raise his hand. He caught uh, a paintball to his side, so I shoot three at them, two to the guy who raised his gun, one to the guy who unfortunately was next to him. But they were pretty uh, cool about it also. So, you know, I'll, I'll still try to yell surrender when I can, especially if I catch people on their side. But if I see that gun raised or if, if I hear a shot, I'm definitely pulling the trigger. So I hope you also enjoyed this video with a commentary. Thank you guys again for uh, subscribing, for taking the time to leave comments or any advice for me, uh, as well as liking or sharing the video. I totally appreciate it. I'll try to get more videos out there throughout the summer, and I'll see you out there on the field. Thanks again, guys.